Welcome to your April edition of On Campus. I'm your host, Sabrina Lai. We kicked off a brand new month yesterday, and hopefully you didn't get pranked or tricked too bad for April Fool's Day. But today we are going to focus on the hoppiest of the holidays in April, Easter, which is coming up this Sunday. We also going to touch on the various different activities going on on the campus of SMSU in the upcoming weeks. Stay tuned. Did you know that 76% of Americans think that ears of chocolate bunnies should be eaten first? Easter is only three more days away, and many SMSU students will be heading home to spend the holiday with their loved ones. Whether you are dying eggs, going on an Easter egg hunt, or eating a chocolate bunny, we hope you enjoy a short holiday weekend. Did you know that commercial sex exploitation is the world's third largest organized crime? Carmen from the Peace Rehabilitation Center will be coming to SMSU to touch on this very serious topic. The event is free and will be held in the Lower Conference Center at SMSU on April 20th from 7 to 8 p.m. Knowledge is power and together we can put an end to human trafficking. Are you an SMSU student who is looking for a part-time job this summer? Well, then look no further. SMSU will once again be having its annual spring part-time job fair. The part-time job fair will be held on Wednesday, April 8th in the lower level of the Student Center from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. At, at the fair students are welcome to visit the area employees or employers about potential job opportunities. Students can also apply right on the spot for jobs they are interested in. Lastly, this is an informal event, so no need to dress up. The ninth annual Fine Arts Celebration event is being held from April 8th until May 6th at the campus of SMSU, as well as around the Marshall community. Some of the events that will be happening during the celebrating include vocal and instrumental concerts, theater productions, readings, student writing, art displays, forensic presentations, costume making, and much, much more. According to SMSU Today, event coordinator Don Ganocci St stated that the event is a great way to highlight the fine work of our talented SMSU students and faculty. Most of the events are free to students and the public. A full list of events is happening during the Fine Arts Celebration event and can be found at SMSU Today or on posters around the campus of SMSU. This week we asked SMSU students questions relating to Easter and here's what they said. egg hunt that I went on was when I was 10 and they stuck eggs up in trees and I got to climb trees and jump out of trees and push my little brother and sister over. Well, my favorite Easter egg hunt, when I, the only thing I remember about my favorite Easter egg hunt was when I was about 8 years old and we, we went to the park, the school park, and my parents and my parents and family had an Easter egg hunt at the park and I won money. I mean, it was like $10 though, but I remember that because I was young and I had like $10. I thought it was like $100 back then. Jolly Ranch and Jelly Beans. Those chocolate eggs with like the... The peanut butter? No, the white, the white cream inside. What do they call it? The Cadbury one? Yeah, the Cadbury. The Easter memory would probably be, as a kid, my parents used to set up like an Easter egg hunt. And I go around the, the yard looking for the Easter eggs and stuff, and there's like little clues in them. And then the clues would like show you where all the candy was at, so that was pretty fun. Hmm. The candy. Thanks to those SMSU students for sharing their experience with us. Coming up, SMSU Enactus President Aaron Lang is here, and I will be chatting with him about their preparation for nationals when, they, when we get right back after this short break. 
How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. Will I always be working weekends just to stay out of debt? He's a great college for our kids. Out of the question? Is the American dream? Out of our reach? Not if we can help it. We're the National Endowment for Financial Education, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get smart about their money. Log on to smartaboutmoney.org today and start taking control of your financial life. SMSU Enactus has been working hard this year to make a difference in the Marshall community and the world today. Today, the president of SMSU Enactus, Aaron Lang, joins us to talk about everything Enactus related to their to prepare for nationals in St. Louis in two weeks. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Hey, I'm doing real well. Great weather day. Good to be here. Yes, thank you for coming. So, why don't you tell me and uh, the audience a little bit about Enactus and what you all do? Sure. So, what Enactus is is an international nonprofit organization. And there's really three main facets of Enactus. There's the student leaders, business leaders, and the um, academic leaders. And we all come together to make impactful projects that positively affect the livelihoods of people in an economically, socially, and environmentally sustainable way. Very cool. Thank you. Uh, must keep busy with that, then, huh? Um, why did you join Enactus? What made you um, come to this group? So what made me join Enactus was during my college years, I just felt like something was missing. I felt like I was learning a lot in the classroom, but I wasn't really able to apply it to anything out in the real world. And I just felt like I was learning so many things that could be helping people, but I wasn't really doing anything with my education. So when I was approached about an actus, it was a great opportunity to say, hey, let's take this classroom knowledge, let's go find people in need, put the two together, and see if we can um, develop some good projects that really make an impact on people that need the help. Very cool. Alrighty. And what kind of projects um, does an actus do, like you talked about? Okay, so like I said, the main projects are in three main areas, environmental, economic, and social. And we try to focus on those three key areas because those are the criteria that Enactus is looking for. So our main project this year has been the Green Team Project, okay. which is a project that focuses around composting. So we've worked with um, local businesses and schools to get them to agree to give us their waste. And the waste that we're working with is composting of organic materials, including food scraps, papers, and things that usually go to the landfill. And we have created a plan to take the food scraps and combine it with things like sticks, leaves, tree branches, and combine them to break down and produce a natural fertilizer that we will be using in the Community Blooms Garden in Marshall on Highway 23. Oh, wow. Those projects must keep you busy then. Yeah, that's, that's our first project. And we also have another one where we work with people with criminal records okay. and help them get employment. So we're really excited. We've been able to help 30 people with criminal records get jobs. Wow. And um, yeah, it's actually over the course of one year, it saves taxpayers $1.6 million having all those people out of jail. Oh, wow. It's impressive. So coming up here, you guys have your national competition going on um, in a couple of weeks. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you guys will be doing there and uh, the point of a conference? Yeah, so we're not just going there to see the arch. <laughs> we're actually going to do a few other things. So the national competition has a lot of great opportunities for inactive students. Um, first and foremost, obviously, is a competition. And the way that it's formatted is there's 518 teams in the U.S., and we are an SMSU chapter. So Enactus is international, and this is the United States um, competition. So the winner will be representing the United States in Johannesburg, South Africa, in the World Cup. So that's what we're pulling for, is to um, try to represent SMSU, win nationals, and go represent our country in Johannesburg. Um, some of the events include a career fair, which all Enactus students can go and meet employers that are wanting to hire um, Enactus members. And um, there's a lot of big partner companies. Um, Schwann's will be there hiring jobs on site. Um, so we have the career fair, the competition, and then all the events of being a tourist in St. Louis. Sounds like you guys will be really busy. Um, so I've heard you guys have obtained <coughs> uh, a few grants throughout the year. And you'll be doing a little bit with this um, at the actual uh, national competition. You want to talk a little bit about those grants, how you um, received them, or the process of that? Yeah, so another great thing about Enactus is that it does offer funding opportunities. So we want to really help people, but it's not free to do that. So what Enactus does is the business leaders and some of the well-known partner companies include Walmart, 3M, Johnson & Johnson, Schwann's, 
and they create causes that they would really want to spearhead. So we have actually been very, very fortunate to receive four grants this year. And the grants have been from Walmart, Sam's Club, Coca-Cola, and Unilever. And they have been for two of our projects, The Right Direction and So Wearables. And The Right Direction project grant is to impact women and people who are under, um, who are lacking proper nutrition. So those are the two for that grant. And then the So Wearable one is a business consulting program. So those are the four grants that we've received this year. Very cool. Sounds like you're keeping plenty busy, huh? Yeah. And um, in your Nactus group, how big is it? So Do you know our roughly Nactus how team, many members? Yeah, um, it, it varies semester to semester depending on people's schedules and um, enrollment numbers do change, but on a normal semester we're about 50 to 60 members and most of them are active and we will be sending 30 members to National Exposition in St. Louis. Oh wow, so you guys will be taking plane, bus? What's the travel um, for National? We are nationals? not taking plane. I oh. wish we were taking plane, but we're taking buses and um, we will be leaving Monday, April 13th and the competition will be throughout the week and it will conclude on the 16th. So, um, yeah, please be following us and keeping up with the updates at Nationals. Yeah, sounds like you guys will be plenty busy. All righty. Thank you, Aaron, for talking with us today. Uh, when we come back, I'll take you through uh, some SMSU event highlights you're watching on campus. Like all new parents, my husband and I want what's best for our baby. When it came to immunizations, I wanted the facts. So I carefully researched vaccines talking to pediatricians and other experts and asking tough questions. The answer was obvious. Vaccines like those against measles and influenza are not only a good idea, they could save our daughter's life. Take the time to get the facts. Vaccines save lives. Six hundred and twenty-six thousand investors. That's how many people SIPC has helped since 1970. Over $15 billion. That's how much SIPC has made it possible for investors to recover. SIPC. That's the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. An investor's first line of defense in the unlikely event that a brokerage firm fails. SIPC. For real people. Like me. And you. Welcome back to your Easter edition on campus. Let's now take a look back at some past SMSU events. SMSU welcomes a new executive director of the Minnesota Agricultural and Rural Leadership Program. Oral, Ormeral Ogle Roofcamp will take on this position beginning on April 14th. The Morrow Program is a leadership development program where 30 participants are involved with either production agriculture or agricultural business. Roofcamp has been the program director of the of the South Dakota chapter since 2012 and in class six graduated and in a class of six graduated of the program. She and her family moved from the Netherlands to South Dakota in 2006 to make it advantage to take advantage of farming opportunities. Roof Camp says she sees grants opportunities in Minnesota's diverse and strong agriculture. Southwest Minnesota State University hosted African Night on Friday, March 27th in the conference center at SMSU. The event was held from 7 to 9 p.m. The event included several ethnic African culture dances and music. SMSU students also provided food, fashion, and a drama performance for those in attendance. The event was put on by SMSU African Student Association with support from the International Student Organization, as well as the Center of Diversity and Inclusion. Thanks to everyone who made this event possible. A SMSU faculty member receives an honorable award, according to SMSU Today. Linda Nelson received the Excellence Award for Administrative Service from the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities. Nelson says that she is really humbled to receive this honor. After being recognized for her work at SMSU, the Ec Excellence Awards Award is rewarded to a university faculty member with individual and, and professional accomplishment. Nelson has been a part of SMSU since 2002 and is a part of a number of jobs here, including Director of Academic Commons, which is a job she had since 2002. SMSU has five finalists for the Provost Vice President position. According to SMSU Today, the Provost Vice President position is in academic and student affairs. The candidate chosen will be in charge of planning all student affairs programs overseeing all educational policies and developing sound academic programs and faculty scholarships. 
Their on-campus interviews will be during the month of April with two days set aside for each person. You can see the candidates and their interview dates on the SMSU Today website. We wish you all, we wish all the candidates the best of luck. Thanks for joining us today on On Campus. Be sure to tune in again on April 23rd to keep, with all SMS, to keep up with all things on SMSU. From all of us here on On Campus, we want to wish you a very happy Easter. I'm Sabrina Lai. Thanks for watching.